The Patagonia Ice Field, located in the Andes Mountains at the southern tip of the South American continent, stretches across about 17,000 square kilometers. It's the largest ice field in the southern hemisphere, except for the Antarctic. Over the past 10 years, Chile's average temperature has steadily increased, and the glacial melting is occurring at some of the highest rates on the planet. This winter of 2023, in terms of maximum temperature, it will be the highest in winter ever recorded in Chile. We are already running a water deficit of around 30 percent due to the extreme temperatures that quickly melt the material we store in the mountains. To get a true picture of melting Patagonia ice sheet, we made our way to Bonalenas, the southernmost city in Chile. I also contact the local office of the General Directorate of Water, which manages Chile's glaciers, to get data on how Patagonia's glaciers have changed in recent years. We have had 12 or 13 years of long droughts. As the temperature rose, the snow on the mountains became less and less, and it even began to rain. More rainfall will also accelerate the melting of glaciers. According to Chile's National Water Agency, in 2022, there were about 26,000 glaciers in Chile, covering an area of some 21,000 square kilometers. That's down 8 percent compared to 2014. Most of the melting occurs below the ice layer and flows directly into the ocean and the tributaries. To observe and document the melting process, we trekked for 4 hours and 10 kilometers to reach the French Valley Glacier in Chile's Torres del Paine National Park. And the other reason is because it's a hanging glacier that is hanging off a mountain. The whole of the glacier, including the base of the glacier and the water coming from the base of the glacier. From our current observation point, we can see the continuous melting of glaciers not far away. Despite being August, which is winter in the southern hemisphere, the melted glacier water is still cascading down the valley, forming even a tiny waterfall. Next to it, a trickling stream emerged from the melting ice and snow. Imagine the sight during summer when the melting glaciers would be even more stunning. We can distinctly hear the crackling of ice, bubbling water and the flow of currents. The sound of melting glaciers. Robert, a veteran local guide, has been working in Torres del Paine National Park since 2018. He's concerned that human factors have accelerated the melting of the glaciers. You saw all the fires that humans have made here in this park get close to the glacier and melt it faster too. On the day when we photographed the glacier in the French Valley, there was a loud crash and a great mass of snow collapsed from the top of the mountain. Cao Xuan, CGTN, Torres del Paine, Chile.